right now. It is a brand new day and we have the rear coilovers right here. I'm just hoping that they perform exactly how they look. These bolts right here gave me a whole a lot of issues actually. Um, those are the bottom bolts that go bolt on on the lower control arm. Look at it right here. Those are always a pain to remove so um, when you're doing the rear suspension make sure you get some brand new bolts. Uh, just in case you strip the old ones. It's definitely recommended to replace them. Try to get some anti-seize so you can uh, put it on the threads and be able to remove them later in the future. So these bolts go on just like this. So make sure you get these. These are the part numbers for it. If you need two of them, right there. So next we're going to start installing the rear coilovers. This should be fun guys, we're almost there. Actually, before I start, I just want to show you guys this. This is a Type R rear strut bar, and it bolts up right underneath the carpet. This is a factory from the Type R. I do have it in my car. I've never made a video about it. I'm going to remove it and uh, replace it with something else. So you guys are going to see that in a, in a different video. Quick tip, something that I just ran into. See, it comes with a bunch of spacers. So apparently, you have to use the thicker ones for the rear coilovers because it comes with the thinner ones and that is not the correct spacing. This bracket and that bracket, there's too much play in between. So make sure you use the thicker ones, the ones that come in the bag. These right here come already assembled in the coilover. I don't know why. Just take those off and put them aside. All right guys, so I have all the coilovers installed. Check that out. It looks so good in there. Fitment was on point. Just gotta make sure you use the right spacers down there. But I showed you guys that in the previous clip. These are the adjustable camber arms as well. I'm also rocking the lower control arms from k -Tune. I did a video about those. So check it out if you haven't seen it and those are the brand new bolts as well so I also bought this digital ruler it's gonna give me the exact measurement on the inside uh, for the coilover height because I have to measure in between that distance right there so I want to make sure that that's a the exact in both sides um, obviously I need to put the wheel on drive it for for a little bit until the coilover settles down a little bit and then I'll be able to like get the same exact height on both sides so looks really good guys in there look at that such a great installation I really liked it type R lower control arms energy suspension bushings type R sway bars new axles everything guys so to give you an idea of what I'm trying to do, you see the inner thing here, you put it right in there and it gives you the exact measurement. So I'm gonna see if that works. All right, so we have all four installed. It's pretty easy guys, you can see the labeling right on it. Clockwise, it's uh, the harder setting. And then the counterclockwise is the softest setting. You can see the S right there. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it until it stops. So right now I'm just punching out these studs. They are from the strut bar, the original one. And it had three of them right here. So what I'm gonna do is finish punching 
the rest of them out on the other side and uh, getting some blanks like this from factory. I'm punching these out because the strut bar that I'm going to be using, it's not going to be using those same points. It's actually going to bolt up right here. So I'm going to do another preparation, which is removing these brackets right here. All right, boys and girls, we have the calibers in. They're fully power coated. Just gotta put the Brembo sticker on it. Should be good. Also power coated these brackets. They came out really nice. I like this and this as well. So we're going to install this on the car next. Let's get going. And we have finished installing all the calibers. It looks really nice. I'm liking the finish so far. Like I said, I just have to put the Brembo sticker on the front. But just had to install all the hardware and all the brake pads and stuff. Um, I just bled the brakes as well. And of course, this is the fluid I use. StopTech STR600, which is really good for uh, track use. Um, let me show you the back. It looks great. We have the suspension back there looking awesome. And we have the the calibers right there. Looks so nice, guys. Really like the finish. So after I finish, I need to uh, wrap up, clean everything up. And the next thing is going to be putting the wheels on the car, obviously. And we're going to set it on the ground. Uh, in a, and set the adjustment on height. So I have to figure it out what I'm gonna do with with the height of the car. Um, I'm, I want something flush, nothing too crazy up in the front. Um, it's just about maybe half an inch lower than it was before. And obviously in the back too, we're gonna lower it a little bit more because in the back it's a little higher than the front. After that's done, we're going to move on to the engine bay. And we're going to change a few things here. Um, I'm going to break it down for, for different videos. Uh, for this show, I'm just going to do the, ver the bare minimum that, that I need to get to the show as far as the changes goes. After the event, we're going to get to the power mods. So we're going to be making a lot of power changes out here. Then we're going to dyno the car and also tune it. So it's gonna be great. Um, I cannot wait to get this car uh, faster, looking better than ever. So guys, enough talk. We're gonna continue working on this car. So let's get to it. 